and Barron joined President Trump at the White House for annual Easter egg roll, while Sean Spicer reads to children on the South Lawn, but this time he left his bunny costume at home. First Lady Melania Trump made a special appearance from the Truman Balcony this morning to thank service members attending the White House Easter egg roll and the volunteers who made the massive event happen. The President and the First Lady each addressed the crowd before they walked down to the South Lawn with their 11-year-old son to mingle with attendees. As we renew this tradition, thank you for joining us on behalf of the President and Baron. We wish you great fun, and a beautiful day is coming ahead of us, Melania said. Happy Easter! Soon. President Trump was blowing a whistle to start one of the many roles that would take place today. Melania, Barron, Trump's sons Donald Jr. and Eric, and his wife Laura, along with youngest daughter Tiffany Trump, are all in town from New York to attend the springtime event that takes place annually on the backside of the White House. Administration officials greeted children at the event too, including White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer, sans bunny suit, reading a book to children. He and wife Rebecca watched their two children roll eggs after the President and First Lady's brief remarks. We will be stronger and bigger and better as a nation than ever before. We are right on track. You see what's happening. We are right on track, President Trump proclaimed from the Truman Balcony. So thank you everybody for being here. Trump said he did not know if his family would have a successful role, but I know a lot of people down there are going to be successful. I see those kids and they are highly, highly competitive. That I can tell you, he said, staring down at the thousands of children gathered on the lawn. Melania Trump is facing her biggest test as First Lady today at the White House, as she hosts the 139th annual White House Easter Egg Roll. The White House was slow to announce details about event, which in the past has attracted a number of children's characters, like Elmo and Arthur, and celebrities like Beyonce. This year's event is a pared-down affair, with 21,000 people expected to gather on the South Lawn. President Obama's final Easter egg roll attracted 35,000. Children who came to the event got to meet White House stars instead, like Spicer, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Kellyanne Conway, and Omarosa Manigault. Spicer, who dressed up like the Easter Bunny when he was a staffer for President George W. Bush in 2008, escaped the embarrassing task this year. In the opening hours of the all-day egg roll, Spicer was one of the first Trump administration officials to be seen reading to children. The press secretary, this time not dressed up like a white furry bunny, like Saturday Night Live's Melissa McCarthy did as she impersonated him over the weekend, was spotted reading how to catch the Easter bunny to kids on the South Lawn. Attorney General Jeff Sessions was tapped to read the tome, it's not easy being a bunny. The jovial former Alabama senator had his story time interrupted by the president's appearance, but went right back to it once Trump and the first lady were done. Melania Trump took a turn reading to kids too, being escorted to the reading area by a secret service agent holding an umbrella over her head. Spicer previewed the role last week with a cheeky pun after a reporter inquired about the event, and the possibility Spicer would put on his Easter Bunny costume. I think we're going to have an excellent time, Spicer said in the briefing room. Come on. You can't ask the question and not get the answer, he said when the reporters in the crowd laughed. Yesterday, on Easter Sunday, the First Lady tweeted that she was looking forward to hosting the annual Easter Egg Roll at the